Today we're going to show you how to export your playlists and everything that you've got set up inside iTunes and move it to another Mac. Optimod. So that's a little bit of an introduction into why I'm talking about this video of transitioning between your old machine and your new machine and taking the things that you want with it, all the hard effort that you've put in to making your machine your machine. And we start with iTunes. So iTunes, you've got a bunch of playlists that you've probably used and things like that, especially me being doing radio broadcasting. I've got specific, I got, I got a plethora of uh, Apple playlists, uh, sorry, iTunes playlists that I use all the time so that I can go to and find things really quickly or they're specific for Radio Logic DJ, which is what I'm using. So for me, it's like I want to export all that and bring it all back. So let's show you how we'll do that. So first thing you want to do is export your playlists. So export your library. So let's go to library, export library. There it is, library.xml, save it to your desktop. There we go. So that's the file you want to copy to your new machine. So you put that in a USB stick, put that into your new machine, and away you go. Okay, now you just open iTunes on your new machine. Once you've dragged in all of your existing library being the tunes that go into it, that's where you want to do that, let it do its processing and all that kind of thing. And then you go up and find file, go to library, go to import playlist, and then you find on your USB stick or wherever you saved uh, your library.xml from your last iTunes. There you go, just locate it again, click open, and then it will start to populate all those playlists based on the songs that you've got in there. And they'll be transferred over, ready to go. So hopefully guys, this has made your life easier and uh, moving from one machine to another, whether it's a, a true Apple machine to a Hackintosh or just moving one library to another on a different machine because it's time to upgrade. But there's more on this story soon. This is what got me started into the Hackintosh world. All right, hope this video helps. If you're new here, please feel free to subscribe and keep up to date with any of the latest videos that are coming, especially in regard to Hackintoshing. Take care.